Okay, for this problem, we have 4 minus x squared, that's your f of x, and your g of x, we have a fraction, negative 1 over x. We're going to answer these three parts to start out with. So first, it asks us for f of g of 0 and f of g of x. Now, the previous example what I did was I started out uh, with doing this all numerically. Instead of doing that, though, I'm going to start with f of g of x instead. So since I have to do that part anyway, I'm going to go through and complete that part. And then once I'm done, I'm going to use that with part A. I'll just put 0 into that answer, and that'll be another way that I can get f of g of 0. So I'll start with this. With this, I'm going to do f of g of x. So I'm putting the g into the f. The g right here, that's this expression, negative 1 over x. So I'm going to put the negative 1 over x inside there, so I have f of negative 1 over x. That's telling me I've got to put negative 1 over x into here for that x. That's going to give me 4 minus, I have something squared, that would be that expression without the x in it, and I would get this. That blank gets filled in with negative 1 over x. So then I can um, square the top and bottom, and then when I do that, I get this. I get 4 minus 1 over x squared. Now you could either leave your answer as that, or if you want to get common denominators, you can. If you, if you make this 4 over 1 and multiply top and bottom by x squared over x squared, then you're going to get 4x squared minus 1 over x squared, and then there's nothing more you could do with that. You could factor the top only if it asks you to do so. Otherwise, we can leave your answer, you can leave your answer in that form. This is asking us to find f of g of 0. So now that I have this expression complete, this would be my completed answer for f of g of x. I'm going to go over here and put in a 0 for both the x's. So I get 4 times 0 squared minus 1, and then I get 0 squared down below. The problem with this one is you're dividing by 0. So because you're dividing by 0, that's going to end up being undefined because you're not allowed to divide by zero. So A actually is undefined. We don't have an answer for that one. Here's your answer for part B. Now we're going to do part C, G of f of x. Okay, so that's this one right here. What you do is you put the f of x inside of the G formula. The f of x expression is 4 minus x squared. So that's going to go inside here. I need to put the 4 minus x squared into the G. So here's my template for the g. It's negative 1 over x. So I have negative 1 over that space that's there, and that space is going to get filled in with 4 minus x squared. Nothing more I can do with that except to factor it again if it asks us to. Otherwise, I can leave my answer in that form. This would be the completed answer for g of g of x. Now we do d and e. Okay, so d is f of f of x and e is g of g of x. So for the first one, f of f of x, it's going to look like this when I write out the definition. I'm going to first start by replacing the f of x with 4 minus x squared. I get f of 4 minus x squared. Okay. So now I need to put 4 minus x squared into this x. I'm putting it back into itself. The way the template works is I have 4 minus something squared. Okay, so the x is gone, replace the x with 4 minus x squared goes inside there. So what is that? That really means 4 minus 4 minus x squared times 4 minus x squared. I'm multiplying both those out because I have the square that's there. So I have 4 minus, I'm going to multiply all that out. I get 16, I get minus 4 and minus 4, that's minus 8x squared. Negative, negative gives you a plus. That's x to the fourth power because you're adding the exponents there. 2 plus 2 will give you 4. The final thing you're going to do is you're just going to distribute the minus sign and uh, put your like terms together. So f of f of x, you're going to get, first of all, 4 minus 16 is going to give you negative 12. Negative, negative gives you plus 8x squared. And then negative here will give you negative x to the fourth. So this right here, if you want to rearrange it from highest to lowest powers, you could do that also. But this is going to be your f of f of x. Now let's take a look at this, g of g of x. Definition says we do this. We do g, and then we put g of x inside that one. Okay, g of x is negative 1 over x. So you're going to do this. You want to first 
put ne negative 1 over x inside there. And now you're going to put this basically inside of this x. So here's what it looks like. I have negative 1 over a blank. That blank right there normally would be x. I'm going to replace it with what's inside here. Negative 1 over x, I have that one. So now I need to uh, flip this. The top one can be written as negative 1 over 1. Just negative 1 there. Multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom one. That would be x over negative 1. And then the negative 1's are going to cancel. So your final answer, you get g of g of x is going to equal just x only because the other negative 1's canceled out.